guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze and I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. You're highly, highly welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you all. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about my vision board, how I make my vision board, I'm going to be evaluating my vision board for 2019. I want to see um, what I achieved, what I did not achieve, um, the good, the bad, the ugly, basically. Um, I also want to talk about what my 2020 is going to look like. And yeah, basically everything about my vision board and how to create one and whether does it work because <laughs> I have to check whether creating a vision board worked for me in 2019 if it worked how well did it work or if it did not work why didn't it work so i'm going to be discussing all of that in this video so stay to the end so you see how i created my vision board but for now if you'd like to know all about everything i just said just keep on watching Okay, so basically, um, in 2018, around this time, 2018, I created a vision board and I didn't do mine the way most people do theirs, okay? So basically, what is a vision board? A vision board is a pictorial representation of your vision, right? It's not the vision board, is. Wait, let me just check what a vision board is. Okay, so according to Google, a vision board is a visualization tool which refers to a board of any sort used to build a collage of words and pictures that represent your goals and dreams. So for most people to create their vision board, they get a board of some sort or a picture frame and then they cut out pictures from magazines, from books, from whatever they want pictures that represent their vision or their goals or their aspiration or their dreams for the coming year or for whatever it might not even be for a year you can have a vision board for an event you can have a vision board for um you know an occasion or something yeah but for the year most people just get magazines or books that have pictures of what they want or words that represent what they want and they cut it up and paste it on the vision board on the board yeah Go and paste on the board, you know, just decorate it and it represents their vision and then they put it somewhere in their rooms or their houses and yeah. But for me, I don't know, me, I don't know where they sell magazines in Nigeria. Like, do they sell magazines in Nigeria? And if they do, where? And even if they sell, I'm sure they'll be really, really expensive. So I'm not going to just go out there to buy magazines just to come and cut it up and paste. No, I'm not going to do that. I use an app called Canva. I use Canva to create my thumbnails to do some art digital art kind of stuff so i used canva to create my vision board last year and the good thing about it is since it's digital i could save it on my phone save it on my laptop save it anywhere i want to save it because it's digital i can even print it out if i want to but i didn't print out for last year i think i'm going to print out the one for this year so yeah i'll show you guys how to create it at the end of this video but first let me talk about my vision board last year did it work did it work um yes my vision board works for me very well last year now when i say it works for me very well last year it doesn't mean that i achieved every single thing i put on my vision board it doesn't mean that okay there was like i said there were the good the bad the ugly they were the very good they were the okay and they were the really ugly ones so i'm going to be breaking them down from the good to the ugly okay so yeah when i created my vision board i put things that i really wanted for myself in 2019 and to be honest while I was creating that vision board, there are some things that I put there just because I felt, well, let it just be there, let it just be a dream. It might not even come to pass. I'm sure it might not come to pass, but let me just put it there as a dream. And shockingly, shockingly, those things came to pass, okay? In fact, there were some that when they happened, I was like, wait, is this a joke? Like, am I dreaming that this thing that I just jokingly put here came to pass, okay? So I'm going to be telling you guys all about it. So yeah, whenever I'm writing, my plans for a new year, my vision for a new year, what I want to achieve in the new year, I usually break them down into different categories. So I break them down into spiritual, physical, mental, financial, psychological, material, just different aspects of my life 
family, relationships, you know, I break down uh, my vision into those categories. So I write down what I want to achieve in my life, what, what I want to see in my life spiritually, physically, and all of that, okay? So yeah, for spiritually, I'm not going to um, go much into my the spiritual aspect in this video. Maybe I'll do that in a different video because spiritual aspect is very, very big. It's very, 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 very huge, okay? But spiritually, um, I wanted my focus to be on my relationship with God, not with man, not with not getting things from God, not God helping me achieve things in my life. That was not my my focus was my relationship directly with God. Um, how well did it go for me? It's only me and God that knows that one. Me and him are going to be uh, taking stock very soon. <laughs> But yeah, for the spiritual aspect, I just thank God for everything He has done in my life, and I thank God for His mercy, for His grace, for His forgiveness, for His love. Okay, even when I go far left, He still looks for a way to bring me back to Him, and that is the best thing about being a Christian and being a child of God. Okay, so yeah, that's that for my spiritual life. I'll break it down in a different video, or maybe never. Financial, financial, yes, financial. It was a, it was pretty good for me. I didn't get 100% of what I wrote on my vision board. I didn't achieve 100%, but at least I achieved a lot, a whole lot, you know, a whole lot more. Because when I started the year, um, after you know how you, you begin the year and you have this strong vision for your life, like ah, this year, this is going to happen, my dear. After January, like this, my expectation reduced by February, team reduced by March. It was already on the floor. Like I thought I wasn't going to achieve much. But towards the ending of the year, with my YouTube channel being monetized, with my business, with my network marketing, network marketing is business I do, with my network marketing, with my family generally, our finance improved. It is not, it is not where I wanted it to be, but it is a long way from where it was last year. So I'm thankful for that, and I thank God for that. So next year. We are going higher. Like I have a vision for my finances and I'm going to hit it. So if you guys see me wearing the same clothes from January to, to, to December, nobody should complain because I am going to be very, very strict with my spending. I'm going to save like crazy. I'm going to invest like mad and I'm going to also pursue other avenues for business, not just YouTube, not just network marketing. I'm going to pursue all other business um, ventures. So next is um psychological i don't know just psychological or character wise yeah so i said that 2019 is going was going to be my year of discipline and consistency and <laughs> all right so in this one i still put it as a good even though yeah when it comes to the discipline aspect um I'm not going to rate myself very well in that aspect <laughs> let me just tell myself the truth but when it comes to consistency at least myself i know i tried okay i tried especially with my youtube channel you guys the normal me and that, that is why discipline and consistency was a big thing for me this year the normal other gives up so easily like first of all i give up easily not just because i am I'm, I'm not strong enough to achieve it or i'm lazy i give up easily because i get bored i get bored so easily i get bored with tasks i get bored with 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 hobbies even my hobbies i get bored with them if you know me i've done like one million things in my life like i can wake up one morning and say you know what i'm going to be a baker i start baking i wake up another morning i'm going to be a tailor i start sewing i wake up another morning i'm going to be an artist i start making art i wake up another morning i'm going to be a this i start doing that okay so i have i'm the kind of person that gets bored easily but i just told myself that this year i'm going to choose one thing and i'm going to be consistent at it and i'm never going to give up and my youtube channel was it for me and yeah you guys you, you, you guys already know the whole story and all that to be honest it has helped me a whole lot on my youtube channel and so many other things in my life so yeah uh, i'll rate myself for consistency even though both of them are supposed to go together for consistency i'll give myself 90 percent and for discipline, I'll give myself 40%. 40% because you need to be, you need some form of discipline to be consistent. That's the only reason why I give myself 40% Other than that, now zero. <laughs> um, yeah, so the good, my YouTube channel, yes, this channel is also part of the good for my for me last year, 2019. Um I put 20,000 subscribers as my goal for last year, but I was able to achieve um, 5,000 plus subscribers and I'm so happy for it because when I, you know how you are, you are writing down vision now, when I wrote that 20,000, 20, 
I felt like it was achievable and it is achievable, okay? But when I now started the YouTube, ah, I was like, if I get 500, God I beg. If I even get 500, I'll be so happy. <laughs> because it's not what you think. It's not as easy as most people think. It's really not what you think. So when I started the YouTube channel, ah, my expectation to reduce. I was like, eh, it's not, it's not as easy as I thought. So for me to achieve 5,000 is just... It's just, I'm just so grateful to God for it. So the next good, actually this one is very, very good for my vision for 2019 was my home, okay? This was the one that shocked me the most last year. And that's because in 2018, when I was discussing with my husband about us moving from our former place, we had so many issues in that place. My husband was not really seeing my point about us leaving that place. He wasn't really, you know how men are now, some men actually, he was comfortable with where we were before. It wasn't like he liked the place so much, but it was like, well, we can stay here one more year, you know, we don't have to move immediately. And me, I was like, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I can't take it. I remember when I was pregnant with Ava, that was like, huh, two years ago and last year. Um, I was pregnant with Ava. I hated the house. I hated the tiles. I was so frustrated with that house. You know, but when I was telling my husband, he wasn't really seeing it the way I was seeing it. So, even when I was putting it on my vision board, to be honest, it was something I just put as a dream, not really as something that I, I wanted to. It's not, not, not really as something I thought I was going to achieve by all means in 2019. It was just more like a dream. If I was choosing the house to put, I went to choose one fine Oibo house like this because to me it was just a dream. I chose a very fine office. I wanted my own office. I've always wanted my own office in house, home office. So I put that picture um, for my children's room. I also put, I also um, got this picture for my children's room, for my kitchen. <laughs> I also got this picture, what I wanted for my kitchen. But to be honest, I'm putting it, I just put them as something that would be nice to look at. So it wasn't really like I thought I was going to achieve it in 2019, but it was just something nice to look at. Only for February, was it February? I think in February, my mom was like, okay, let's start looking for a house. I was like, uh, excuse me? Did anything happen? Did you fight with landlord? Uh, did anybody, did you receive a threat to leave this house? Like, I was so shocked. Our rent for last year, 2019, wasn't going to expire till September. Okay, so we're supposed to renew our rent in September, but by February we're already looking for a new house. I was like, what the hell is going on? You know, so like, that one shocked me a lot because even the house we saw, the house we're currently living in, is something close, the front of the house at least, is something close to what I have on my vision board. If you guys have, if anybody has come to my house will know that my house is something close. I'm not saying it's exactly like that, though, because that's not the kind of house we're living in, though. But it's something close, you know, so many so many details we are the same with the house we finally got. Uh, my children's room is not like with the picture, but at least I got a very beautiful room for my children. My office, I got an office for myself. Um, my kitchen, okay, my kitchen is not in close, but, <laughs> but I got a very good, beautiful kitchen. Yeah, um, what else? Like almost everything just worked out. The way I put it on my vision board, and I was like, nah, maybe this, nah, maybe this. So, you guys, anything that you want from that you really, anything that your heart desire, please go and get pictures of it and put on your vision board. You never can tell, okay? You never can tell whether it's going to work out. And even if you don't get a hundred percent, that's one thing I, and that's my number one takeaway from um, creating a vision board last year. You don't have to achieve a hundred percent of what you put on your vision board, but at least. It puts you in the right direction, okay? It puts you somewhere in the vicinity of your dreams, okay? <laughs> so now let me go to the bad. I won't call it bad anyway. It's not like it's bad, but things I did not achieve that were on my vision board. And the first one is I told myself that I was going to read 20 books this year. And 20 books in my mind. The 20 books was just me being, you know, uh, humble. And I, I was very sure I was going to read like 30 or 40. But I just put 20 so that I won't just, you know, let me not be putting my, my expectations too high. That was why I chose 20. Guess how many I read? <laughs> yeah, you guessed right. <laughs> I read only one. One book. One, and that one book, the only reason why I read it was because it was very important for my business. That was the only reason why I read that book. Only one book, okay? But I'm going to put all the information I gathered this year, I'm going to make them as more books. So let me just say I read 10 books this year. <laughs> 
But anyway, yeah, to sit down and read a physical book, I read only one book this year, which is really, really bad, really, really poor. So next year, I'm going to try and read more. I'm not going to put a number next year again. Let me not just set myself up. But yeah, I'll try and read more next year. So if it's that one, I rate myself. One over 20 is what? 5%. So yeah. So the next one that is kind of bad is travel. I put travel on my vision board, but it's not even a bad because to be honest, I, did not, I don't even want to travel with my children right now. So in 2020, is a plan to travel, but 2019, I think I won't put that one there because I cannot travel without my children and I cannot travel with my children. Like I just did not want that stress. So yeah, I won't put it as a bad. It's just, it shouldn't have been there in the first place. Now, let us move on to the ugly. Ug, ug, ugly. Ug, ug, ugly. <laughs> Can you guys guess which one is my ugly for, for 2019? Just guess. Yeah. Physical. Physical. You know why it is an ugly? Not just, not only did I not achieve my goal, I actually became worse. So when I started 2019, I was setting weights. And I, I felt so bad about being a certain weight and I said to myself in 2019, I am going to end up being, you know, so many kgs less. As at 1st of January 2020, I am <laughs> almost 10 kg more than I was at January 2019. As I am so much, in fact that was just an ugly, like, like, that was a big L that I, I took this year. So, but anyway, when I tried to, when I start feeling sad about it, I remember what my friend Rosalyn has. She's here on YouTube. The name of her channel is Rosalomon TV. She lives in Finland with her husband and her beautiful son, and she does a lot of interesting videos. So, anyway, uh, she said something about not achieving some things on your vision board might just mean that you are sowing seeds for them. It doesn't mean that you failed at them. It just means that. You are just sowing the seeds and then the seeds are going to germinate the next year or you know sometime in the future so that's what i'm i'm taking it to be okay i did not fail with my health and weight loss in 2019 i didn't feel with my fitness i was only sowing the seeds for 2019. <laughs> man i can't even say it with a straight face because i don't even believe it myself but anyway that was just the ugly for 2019 and 2020, and 2020, I am going to make a very big change health wise. Okay, okay, so yeah, that's it basically for my 2019. Um, I'm going to be creating a vision board for 2020. Just sit down and create it. I already have all the elements um, written down in my book, so yeah, I'm going to create my vision board. And next year, also, I'm going to see how it goes. So, guys, this is how I create my vision board. I go to the website www canva.com and then create a design i just choose a template that i want so i choose collage collage helps me put several pictures on the image that's why i choose collage um on their website they have different templates of collage and very beautiful templates you don't really need to start trying to figure out how to create it from scratch just choose something that you know fits your taste and then change the images so i'm just going to scroll down and search i can use mood boards to search i can also use vision boards to search um this was the template i used last year so i won't be using it again this year um so i'm just searching with vision board and then more templates will come out uh i think i'll just go for this image here because it looks you know it looks good i like the way it looks so yeah let's just go for it for this demo um then yeah i'm just going to change the write-up that is there uh you can put your own write-up you can delete what is there and put your what you want but i like the way there's a setup so i'm just going to change it to my year of shooting shots no matter what okay <laughs> uh, so yeah so i just changed what they had there i did not create my own from scratch but i'll show you guys how to create your own from scratch later on so yeah my year of shooting shots no matter what 2020 okay so here i'm just going to insert an image here uh, I'm going to put my family image. Like I said, this is just a demo. So I'm going to just use an image that I already have on the app. Like I said, I use this for my thumbnail. So I have images there already. Um, my other is not in this image. So I, I, I'm definitely not using this. Um, so just drag the image over where you want it to be and it enters. Easy peasy. No extra stress. So this is how I upload images to the website. I just go to Google and search. 
um, for my vacation, I want to go to Greece, so I just choose Greece Island, and then I just choose an image that I like or something that suits my theme better. So yeah, I chose this image. I just uh, go to the website and choose upload image or video. I go to my uh, folder where it is saved and just click on it, and it adds to the image. It uploads to the website. So yeah. Um, once it uploads to the website, I just choose the image and drag it to where I want it to be. Easy peasy, it enters, you know, no stress, okay? So, um, let's look for another thing. Okay, I'm going to check for a bikini body that I like. Yeah, you know, if I go for vacation, we need to have our, our bikini body banging, okay? So, I'm just going to choose black girl bikini body, okay? <laughs> Yeah, so black girl bikini body, to be honest, none of these options are realistic for me. Even if I lose all the weight in this world, I can't look like any of these girls, okay? So I'm just going to choose someone who is, you know, a little bit more realistic for me. And simply because she has a long torso finish, you know, all these hips and boobs, I don't have them, I beg. So I'm just going to put her image. It's nice to look at. It's nice to motivate me. And I really want flat tummy, okay? So yeah, I upload the image and just drag it to where I want it very simple okay so next day i also want to read my bible more i want to read my bible more so i go to google again and just search for bible and then different images come up i choose the one that best suits um, what i want it for um so this one you know will fit well into where i want it to be i upload image drag and that's it so i have my bible there and you can also adjust the image like if it crops out too much you can adjust it so that it crops out the right place and that is it you can actually remove everything here and just create your own but i mean why go through that stress okay so um i think that's all for now for this demo okay let me just add text yeah so to add text just go to text option on the website and then choose a text option you like so it tells you add a heading so i'm just going to edit it and write forgiveness you can also change the colors this is me playing with the colors to see the one that best suits my overall design um i ended up going for green so you can search for a particular color if you if you're not finding color you want you can search for green it gives you different options for green you can also increase the font you can increase it by you know clicking on that and that's it's very simple um place the font wherever you want it uh, so now I'm just going to download the image as a PNG file. So choose PNG file, high resolution image or high whatever image. So choose B PNG file and just download it and it saves to your downloads folder. Okay. So next I'll just go to my downloads folder and then click on the image and save it as my background. This was my mood board for last year, my vision board for last year. So I'm just going to change it now, put this demo one there. Um, once I put it I go to my settings and go to background and then I choose the fit I want. So I want it to fit the image, fit my background so I can see everything at once. So I choose, but you can also do other styles if you want, but I choose fit because I want it to, I want to see everything at once. Then I can also change my background colors and most of the colors I choose here actually went well with the design. Purple goes, blue goes, green goes. So just play around with it and make everything look pretty okay it's very simple very fun to do and yeah that's it basically i love it yeah so that's it basically easy peasy i hope you guys try it out i use my screensaver as my background on my phone on my laptop so anytime i open my phone anytime i open my laptop it is there reminding me you need to achieve this you need to achieve this you need this is what you said you are going to achieve this year so it helps to keep me on track even though when it comes to weight loss, it did not work. But yeah, it actually helps to keep me on track. Yeah, that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to all my subscribers. They say your vibe attracts your tribe. And to be honest, I attracted my tribe in 2019. You guys are what I prayed for. And I pray for all of you that everything you hope to achieve in 2020 is going to come to you with ease. With ease. As in 2020, we're going to be achieving things with fast, fast speed and ease okay thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please and i'll see you all in my next video bye happy new year